Today is Friday, as always, that means we get new content, and that will be the show 23 Diamond Dynasty. And today was a huge content update. We got so much stuff to go over, primarily April Player of the Month, but also some other things too. So let's get into it. Looking at the calendar, we had so much stuff come out today. Season 1 double XP, um, and then also April Player of the Month. Obviously, there's so many cards. There's like double the amount of cards that there were last year. We got new Tops Now cards. There's a new Diamond Duo pack. There's a new uniform. <laughs> um, and then a week from today, we're getting a roster update and ranked. And we're obviously getting the start of Season 2. So it's going to be a huge content day. An even bigger one than it is today in a week. First, let me go over the April Monthly Awards event. It is Monthly Awards Tops Now and Live Series Players. And your max team overall is a 90 overall. So, you know, kind of annoying. But you can just put commons on in your bullpen and you never use them. But if we look at the rewards, we have two of them. We do have another Rewind Pack here, which is nice. I am missing only one of these cards, I think. So that's really nice. We have Matt Carpenter who is really good against righties, all right against lefties, and defense is okay. And then Sean Manaya, sinker, circle, change, slider, sweeping curve. Good per nines, okay control. Uh, these two rewards are kind of mid, but they're free cards, and you can sell them or you can keep them for the set one collection. We also got another batch of new Tops Now cards. I'm just going to go through these pretty quickly. We got Drew Maggi, who, is that how you say it? He was 33 years old, he grinded the minor leagues for so long, and he finally got a chance in the majors, and he got his first career hit. So he has high contact, okay power, okay defense and speed. We have TJ Friedel, is that how you say his name? Another guy with high contact, not good enough power though, and the defense is alright. Tanner Beebe, uh, Slurve, four-seam circle, or circle change, or circle change, yeah, but I just skipped over the 12-6. The thing about these Tops Now cards is none of them are really that good. They're just, you know, cool cards to see from players who won't ever really get good cards. And you're going to need these guys for something else, too. So that's another one there. Nick Senzel, 93 overall. Pretty good utility-wise. He can play a ton of spots with, with solid speed, solid defense, and pretty solid stats against righties. And the 106 clutch does help him. There is Brenton Doyle. Another guy who just doesn't have power, but has really good speed and defense. Mauricio Dubon. Yet again, another guy. Not great power. He does have 83 power versus left, and he has much better contact. He'll play six spots with goal defense and 79 speed. Andrew Vaughn, really good against lefties, pretty good against righties. The clutch helps him. The defense is horrible, but he can play five spots. We have Alex Cobb. Sinker, splitter, knuckle curve, four seam slider. 99 velo, 99 break, the hits per nine and the clutch are a little low, which is going to hurt this card, but really good pitcher all around, and then Cal Raleigh, who is a really good catcher, 94, 112 versus right, 71, 80 versus left, stats versus lefties are going to hurt him, but the 109 clutch helps him a ton, he's a diamond defender, a really good catcher, switch hitter too. Now, for the moment you've been waiting for, the April monthly awards program, and this thing is so cool, man. Uh, but let's go over the way you can get points first of all the lightning card is Matt Chapman like I predicted and he's at 150 points So you need 150 points to complete the program Event wins so every event win gives you one point. So that's nice to see stat missions. Okay So these are all Okay, so you can do these offline hits with April monthly awards tally 30 hits with April monthly awards and you can use the captains for these two 30 hits gives you 7 points, 30 strikeouts gives you 7 points, 15 extra base hits gives you 7 points, 3 saves gives you another 7, and then 5 stolen bases gives you another 7. So if you want to do all those, you can. We also have PXP missions. So, I mean, honestly, I think there's a ton of different things you can do here. I I'll, at the end, I'll add up and see if you can skip some things, but... Okay, 5,000 PXP with April Player of the Month cards, and then PXP with all of the cards as you move on through the program. They're each... Okay, so with the pitchers, it's 500, and with the hitters, it's 200, and it looks like... Okay, so they all give you three points, except for the 98 overalls give you five points, and then the moments... So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, times 2 is 36 points. 
and then there's an optional collection collect the 95 overall tops now players for monthly for april monthly awards program progress so if you have all these tops now guys which i have all the ones that have been released but obviously i'm missing the the two 95s that just came out in the game if i get those i can get another 15 points in the program so mm -hmm. tops now is actually optional but it's definitely going to help you so let me count up all the stuff so event is repeatable obviously but the stat missions that's 35 points and then i'll come back to pxp moments is what i think it was 36 so 35 plus 36 is 71 and then moments oh wait no i just did that and then the collection is optional but it gives you another 15 so that would be 86 so you're gonna have to do a ton of these pxp missions so wait 5 10 15 20 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 times 3 is 39, plus 20 is 59, plus 86. That is going to be 145. And so you only need 5 more. And then this will give you 20. Yeah, so you're, you're not going to be doing all of it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not going to be easy to complete. But let's go through all of these cards. Let's start at the top with the lightning card matt chapman and i'm gonna be honest i think they did him a little dirty look this is obviously a great card and he's free to get but i think the power should have been better um and the clutch does hurt his contact because he has really good contact and the clutch decreases it he's got diamond defense across the board good speed this is a good card and it's free but i think he could have been a little better if we look at the 98s zach gallon four seam knuckle curve cutter circle change slider so he has a good, a good pitch mix, good hits per nine, pretty good clutch. The control and break is there. The velo is amazing, but overall, that's a pretty good card. We got a Luis Arise, 98 overall, second baseman, primary, max contact vision and clutch, just like I predicted in my attributes. The power is a little lower than I had at 78, 73. Goal defense can play a ton of spots. Jose Alvarado, I think this is the best card in the entire program. Closing pitcher, sinker, cutter, 12-6, four seam. Great per nines and clutch. He's got outlier on the sinker. That card's gross. Brent Rooker might actually be better than him, though, because look at those power numbers. 121, 121 with 125 contact versus righties. Clutch does not help him versus righties, but this card is insane anyway. And then, yeah, so that's it for the 98s. Now let's go to the 97s. So now looking at the 97s, we have y Yiner Cano. Is that how you say it? I don't really know. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? This card might be better than Alvarado. Sinker, circle change, slider, four seam. 120 hits per nine. 116 pitching clutch. 102 case per, case per nine. 99 velocity, 99 break, 99 walks per nine. The control is amazing. The break is elite. He has outlier on the, four, on the sinker. Oh my God. Okay, that card is gross. He's my first pick there. Yandy Diaz not that good honestly i mean look yandy diaz is having an amazing start to the year but anyway 111 for contact right power left and then contact left power right are a little worse with 100 clutch defensive flexibility though jonah heim okay so i was considering having this card take over for kondo on my team and he 100 percent is the power is a little low but it's better than kondo same with the contact first right but the 125 clutch really helps him out switch hitter Elite defensively. That's a really good catcher card. Jared Kalnick has reverse splits, destroys lefties, and is still good against righties. 99 clutch. Okay, goal defense. Pretty solid speed. Jorge Mateo. This card is nice. He has really good hitting stats, which is great. Has good defense, maxed out speed, really good defensive flexibility. And then James Outman, we have... Okay, so overall... All right, he's not the best card in this pro in this program. Him and Yandy Diaz are the worst cards in this pack. But overall, really solid card with good defense and speed. Moving on to the 95s, we have Tyro Estrada. Really high contact. The power is not as good, though. Clutch is 95. That's going to hurt him. He has really good speed, though. Brandon Marsh. Okay, this card is really good against lefties. The power versus righties is a little low. But clutch helps him out a ton. Diamond defense, 91 speed. Justin Steele, four seam slider, sinker, sweeping curve, circle change, 102 stamina, 106 hits per nine, 102 clutch. Okay, this card is actually really good. Jack Skuinski, 
Really good against righties, 125 clutch. Okay, that's gonna help his contact versus lefties. He's got silver defense, a good arm, good speed as well. And then we have Alex Young. Okay, this is another good card, another good reliever. Circle change, sinker, 12-6, four seam, cutter. Great per nine, some clutch. The velocity isn't amazing, but the control is there. So yeah, those are the 95s. Now let's go to the captains. We have a 95, Carlos Santana. Dude, these cards are insane. Oh my goodness, 125 clutch against, he's really good. The Like, this card is really good. Switch in and catcher, Mark Pryor, four seam slur of curveball changeup. This card isn't as good, but he does have 123 pitch and clutch, okay. Like, those cards are amazing. This program is really good. Before I forget about diamond duos, let me show them real quick. We have 99 Rod Carew. Rod Carew cards are never that good just because he never has good power. And as you can see, doesn't have the power, but he could have a glitchy swing. And I mean, max contact, vision, clutch, really good discipline, really good speed as well. For a second baseman is pretty good. And then we have Lance Lynn. Okay, this card might be nasty. 102 stamina, 114 hits per nine, 100 case per nine. Pitching clutch is 118. Control is really good. Break is really good. Speed differentials are there. Really good pitch mix. This card is really good, man. I don't know. Okay, he's pretty expensive, as expected. Carew, around the same. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, no packs today, just because I want to save them for Tuesday when, the new, when there's new Diamond Duos and there's so much content today. But yeah, I mean, I really like this program. I like how many cards that they're giving us. Obviously, the match happened could have been better. But overall, it's a W for sure. But yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, I just recently posted a video on a giveaway, so go check that out. But anyway, uh, I've been your host, Nick from Big Ends Gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.